Finish and Designer Beginners Tutorials Lesson 2 Shapes Part 2. We're going to start by learning 1. Working with the Gradient Fill Tool 2. Using this Transparency Tool 3. How to use the Crop Tool 4. How to do simple layer masking 5. The Contour Tool and 6. The Corner Tool Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music and the Administrator of Doodly and Tony PNGs. Welcome to the beginner's tutorial for Affinity Designer. We're on lesson two, shapes, part two. Right. I've opened uh, A4 page in Landscape um, for use with this tutorial. And we're going to go to the left hand side where you find the toolbars. And we're going to go down the toolbars past the default shape tools to the variable shape tool and I'm going to click on that and add the tool that's on there which is a donut shape and I'm going to colour that in like an orangey colour kind of donut colour and then I'm going to get another shape from that variable tool shape a trapezoid tool and I might change that one to red yep and I'll get another shape and that's a call out shape in the, an ellipse call out shape and the last one I'm going to get is a heart shape at the bottom there we go right okay now what I'm going to do is show you on this side you've got the layers there right so this one's on the top so if I change the colours of the, these other ones, that green and that blue, you will see when I put when I get the shape and put it across, it's over the top of that, it's over the top of that, it's over the top of that. Now the green is over the top of the blue and the yellow but not over the top of the red, right? And so on. So that's the top layer, that's the bottom layer, basically. Okay, so you want to uh, hide one of them, you just click off that, right? Click it off its thingy. If you want to lock it in position, you can use the lock tool like and you can't move it then at all. And you know, you can't do anything with it until you unlock it. So that's in case you need to lock it, right? Now, what I'm going to do is go on to the trapezoid tool and I'm going to use this fill tool here which is a gradient fill tool and I'm going to click that and bring it down like that to there I'm just going to show you on there for the moment as uh, it's got two circles one at the top and one at the bottom there and the line which has got a slider on it so the slider is the gauge for which you can choose the, the how much gradient of one colour or the other colour is on the actual shape that you're doing it with or shapes according to how many shapes you have selected when you be select the gradient tool uh, as well as that if you click on either of these circles you can change the color of the circle by clicking on there like that and then you can change the gradient up or down to what you want like that you can also click on the line itself and you create another circle and you can change that to a different color so you've got three-way gradient there look and then you can change that down or up like that and you can sway that one whichever way you want it as well you can pull that one back like that and move that up like oops and go on a minute move that up there pull that down like that and bring the gradient down that way and then bring that down that way if you want to or like that okay right you can do something like that and if you have two or three other items selected as well they'll all be um have the same gradient in whichever way you want them so let's say we put the gradient that way they'll all be doing that correction whatever but according to where the line is that they're on if they're facing that they'd be on the same line like that 
anything below it wouldn't be changed until it got to it like that so if it went there you'd have the yellows and greens and pinks there on that if it was selected but obviously you can move this anywhere on the board and still affect the shape that's selected right okay as well as that let's go back on to the shape and let's click on the shape a minute what I'm going to do is just add a stroke so I can get the border on All right so that's the border now if you try using the gradient with the border the border doesn't catch the gradient at all it doesn't affect it All right it just affects the the fill inside the shape okay that's important to know about things like that right okay that's that now we're going to get off the gradient let's just uh, get rid of the gradient so to get rid of the gradient you just click on the actual full fill and click on the color and that's completely stopped it you can take off the stroke if you want to by just taking it off like that or you can use this tool by clicking on the black circle and clicking like that to get rid of it that way well it's not recommended all the while you might need it so what I'm going to do is just going to take it down to about there so we, we can see it but only just right now what I want to do is I'm going to move on to this tool here which is a transparency tool and it works more or less the same as the gradient tool except for that it does affect the outside um, the border when you fix the border it definitely affects the border right so you can do that as you can see it is affecting the border right and with that let's just uh, click it and we can take it round as you can see it's sort of send me see through with this transparency tool it is much better than using a paste because you can make a corner of a, uh, an object transparent without making any of the rest of it by doing that or you can make more of it like that so if you have a look as I put it over there that half's not got any um, transparency at all hardly and this has here so you can definitely make a smaller part transparent and you know mess about with it as best you like to enjoy it but uh, makes it makes it better than using the opacity so if I go back off here I'll put that back and take that all the way down I've not really much of the trace left and if you go right down there then I've clicked on it, I can cut that out altogether. Right, so let's cut it. If you cut it, you can repaste it as well, like that. So you just click, cut, and paste. You can paste it somewhere else if you want to as well. Uh, to right click for the drop down menu, and then you've got Control and X to cut as well, or Control and C to copy, Control and V to paste. Control and G to group. I, I think I don't think I've mentioned grouping, have I? Or have I? I did yes. Yeah, I mentioned that in the first um, lesson was grouping. Yeah. So um, that's what you can do with that. You can do the same as you can do with um, gradient in regards to putting extra circles on to make extra parts where it's invisible or you know transparent and that and um, like this. Click on it there. That gives you another area for transparency and if you click this side you get another white piece so you put that there and you can pull, pull that down you got transparency there you can pick that one over and then you've got two areas of transparency instead of one like that oh so you can do that so you've got two areas of transparency there so if we do that then we go and take that over as you can see you got areas where they're a bit transparent but not completely as transparent as those two areas so you can mess about with it like that, and you can turn it around and do all sorts of things like you want to do maybe 
Um, so that's that. Right, so that's transparency, which you can use on multiple um, objects at the same time as well. Right. So let's just get rid of that for now. Let's use the delete button. There's delete. Right. Um, now we go on to this donut. We'll use the donut for doing cropping. We crop down like that, and you lose it, and then you do move tool to move it around. Right, you can stretch it and everything like that still, because it's got, got the still got the what it's on. But if you want to change the crop again, you have to click on the crop tool again, and bring it back up. If say you've done enough, but you've got the X on, you can move the actual border by that. Right, if you leave it long enough, it comes up with that, and you can move the inside. Right, but you have to leave it to do that. Right. Now, if I do that, that's better. Right. Now, if you go back on there, then do that. You can move the border up a bit. So you got to have the X or the cross to move the bounding of the actual crop tool. If you leave it a bit. Wait for it to come on. It should come on with the other thing in a minute. I did a minute ago, but it ain't doing it this time. I just pull that wire across a bit. Ah, oh. right, I can't do it. The mouse it ain't gonna. Oh, it's come on now. All right. So when you get the cursor with the little square, that means you can move the inside. When the X comes on, that means you can move the boundary, right? And then if you go on the edges, you have to go on these to resize the boundary. So you can get the crop as you want it. Okay? Right. For example. Okay, that's... And you can crop more than one uh, object at a time if you select them together. Any selections, you can do lots of things together like that. right that's the cropping tool um so i just get rid of that for now delete that right now we've done the cropping tool let's get on to um masking okay let's get this big heart shape and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this place image tool and I've got I'm already on my actual file tiles but you know you can navigate to your file tiles on your PC or whatever you've got you're on and then you just put the picture over the top like that to where you want it to be roughly and then you drag the picture on the layers part here onto the thing you want it to go onto and that's your mask there you go that's how you do the mask on there you can stretch the picture a little bit one way or another just to cover that end if you want to but that looks pretty good doesn't it and that's how you do masking you can do it with any shape you don't have to do it with hard shape you can do it with this shape if you wanted to and and let's just try another one on there let's do that one across there like that and we we'll just put that one in there like that and there you go you've got the shape there now you could have that I want to buy a horse there you've got that so it just shows the image rather than the text maybe you could do that or you could make cards with them like that sort of thing if you wanted to but that's a, that's how you do the masking right so that's that done um right what we're going to do next is clear all this off by selecting it all this is another way of selecting it uh, by just going around it like that and press delete 
or you can press the delete or the backspace when you've got something selected and that will delete off what you've got right now I'm going to use the rectangle tool because I want to show you something with the rectangle tool um, right we got contour tool which will change the contour of the shape according to which way you you pull it whether you pull it down into the middle or take it out to the side it will shrink that way and go bigger that way and um, you come round it as when near it comes to you like that right that's the contour tool right let's just uh under the contour right now we're going to the next one which is the corner tool corner tool you click on it click on it again and pull right with the mouse that's what you do click on it click on it again and pull right same with all the others click on it click on it again and pull click on it click on it again and pull that way you don't go the other way right so that will be useful for making rounded corners if you want them a bit more rounded you can do that double click I, oh, I've lost it now I know let's do that again sorry that's me click on the wrong thing now so if you click back on the square it goes back to the top on there you go and then you click on it again and bring it back and same with this one there you go so you just double click it I've done that wrong you have to make sure that's selected if you don't do that it won't work so there you go like that sometimes it gets a bit annoying because you don't always get it to work so you have to select it sometimes like, like that for example and you can change it according to what you want okay so that's the the uh, rounding corners tool right and what's it called corner tool so you've seen the corner tool the contour tool the um are uh, the gradient tool and the transparency tool and you've learnt about um using a mask on uh, shapes so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and found it uh, b informational and fun at the same time um please like and subscribe to tarnish music if you've enjoyed this video and stay safe thank you Thank you.